I can't believe you would even put that badge on with honor and pride, dude, and still come up and disrespect yeah. people's rights by making them give their ID or trying to force them to give their ID. You, that is absolutely ridiculous, man. Okay. You're an officer of the all, law. All I'm going to say is that if you would have given me the two minutes to tell you why I don't have here, to give you the two minutes, okay. and I don't have to tell you man. Okay. I don't. Okay. I so, don't. So you can go. You can go put that on YouTube. I know or I can you go. go. I'm not going to put it on YouTube. I'm going to send no. it to your boss because you're a clown. It. Go for it. Okay. If I really, Officer Norris if is I, a clown. If I really wanted to make an issue out of this, I could have. So if you want, I know, I know go you ahead would. and get in the I car. know you would. But go I'll, get in the I'll car. make it. Welcome back to We the People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer and former sheriff's deputy. Today's video is brought to you by the YouTube channel National Civil Rights Alliance. This is a new channel doing great work, so we're asking that you go over, subscribe, and support. Today, we're going to take a look at the Highlands, Florida Sheriff's Office. And before we say anything, I just want to jump right in and we'll give our thoughts later. Got stopped by the police, sitting here on break just now. He's trying to ask me for my ID before he even asked me for paperwork to see what I was doing, saying there's suspicion, suspicion of nothing. There's no crime being committed or suspected of being committed. And here I am, this guy is basically telling me I have to give him my ID. He's telling me that what if you pull out a gun on me? How am I supposed hey, to know who him. you are? What's your name and badge number, sir? Deputy Knight. You can get my badge number from my, my sergeant if you need to. This guy's telling me I have to give him my ID and I haven't committed a crime. Absolutely ridiculous. The police continuing to trample on civilians' rights. When there's no reasonable, articulable suspicion that a crime has been committed, didn't even ask me for nothing, just asked me, let me get your ID doesn't work like that. This is the United States, state of Florida. Questioning the passenger in my vehicle, forcing him to give his ID because he doesn't know any better. There's a, what force is there? What force did I, how did I force him to give me his ID? He doesn't have to give you his ID. But you just said I forced him. How did I force him? Bro, you're steady at him. You're making him a queeze to your authority. Bro, I got big lawyers too, and they're going to call. And they're going to send in the complaint. Bro, I'm, I try to be nice and tell you what my rights are, and you steady want to try. I know you don't care. That's why you're going to go on break for a little while, my friend. If you only knew who I was, you wouldn't be doing this shit. But we're going to stop all this in South Florida. It's enough. Enough is enough. Learn your rights, dude. Don't be like this, dude. Learn your rights. Look at look at me like a civilian. I'm, I'm in a Durango, whatever. You don't know who I am. I'm telling you. Learn your rights. You put on that badge. You made an oath to that Constitution. You have an obligation and a duty to abide by it. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to go inside to see if they want to trespass you guys. If they want to trespass you, we're going to trespass you. And at that point, you will have to give me your ID. So I think we all know at this point what trespass really is. It's not a big secret anymore. Except to police departments and obviously sheriff's offices. Because this guy is saying that. He will have the right to ID once they get him trespassed, but the owner hasn't required requested for this guy to leave. So anyway, let's just keep watching. Trespass me for what? For being for selling the stuff on private property. What are you What are you talking about? So you hang tight. Nobody right Nobody saw us selling stuff. You pulled up. I was in my vehicle. We got a complaint out here. From who? Well, if I would have. From who? From who was the complaint from? Hold on. So Who was the information. complaint from? I don't have to give you that information. If you want to, you can do a public records request to get that information. We got a call out here because they said you guys were out here selling stuff. Did out. you Hold see on. me selling are you, anything? Are you going to let me talk? No. Then, no. I'm, then I'm not going to talk. Did you see me selling anything? Then you have no right to ask these people to trespass. You didn't see me committing a crime or doing anything. What you're doing is illegal. I'm going to teach you your rights through paperwork. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you today. That's fine. So chill out. All this takes is like three minutes and you guys can be on Bro, it doesn't work like that, homie. It doesn't work like that. But I'm going to teach you how it works. 
And here's how the Florida statute for disorderly conduct works. All right. 877.03. Breach of peace or disorderly conduct. And oftentimes or many times referred to as POP. So don't get arrested for POP. What does it stand for? Pissing off the police is what they called it in my former department. But anyway, the Florida statute states, whoever commits such acts as are of a nature to corrupt public morals or outrage the sense of public decency or affect the peace and quiet of persons who may witness them, the them is very key here, or engages in brawling or fighting or engages in such conduct as to constitute a breach of the peace or disorderly conduct shall be guilty of a misdemeanor of the second degree. So here's what this deputy is attempting to do. He's attempting to silence the cameraman like all cops always attempt to do. But he's using this particular law where it says to corrupt the public morals or outrage the sense of public decency because the law continues to state or affect the peace and quiet of persons who may witness them. He would have to be, the cameraman would have to be doing one of these things and someone would have to witness him doing, doing one of these things and it affects their peace and quiet. None of these things are happening. It's subjective. One person may say, hey, he's disturbing my peace and quiet. Another may say he's not. Either way, no one has said anything and the deputy cannot state that this is disorderly conduct because the man is speaking loudly. There is no victim. There is no complainant. He has to find someone who's going to say that, hey, this is causing my peace to be disturbed. But if you look down towards the bottom, it states or engages in such conduct as to constitute a breach of the peace. He is not engaged in any of these things that this law states. So therefore, he cannot disturb anyone's peace and quiet. and He cannot be charged for disorderly conduct because he's not outraging any sense of decency anywhere. Now he's going in there trying to get us a trespass on something that he heard. He didn't see us do nothing, something that he heard and won't even divulge the information to us about his suspicion or what he heard. These are our officers. These are the people we work hard for and give our tax dollars to who are trampling on our rights. Hopefully this guy, he looks like a young player. He looks like he's just getting into the game. Hopefully you learn something from this interaction. He doesn't understand what's gonna happen to him. Yes, I'm gonna show you through him. Yes, this is not how this goes. Somebody must commit a crime or you must have a reason to believe that person committed a crime to even ask for an ID. This is an illegal stop. So, they What's say... Your name and badge number, sir? Right there, Norris, 2591. You're... So, all right. So, the call came from the other gas station, not this gas station. So, they said that as of right now that you have not peddled or done anything to their customers. They said as long as you Nor guys are doing... Nor did you see us committing a crime and you were asking for my ID illegally. Are you going to... Correct. Are you going to let me talk? No. Why? No. Do you no, realize that when because what's coming you... out of your mouth is really trash, man. Okay, so the, really trash. So the, it's trash. I can't believe you would even put that badge on with honor and pride, yeah. dude, and still come up and disrespect yeah. people's rights by making them give their ID or trying to force them to give their ID. You, that is absolutely ridiculous, man. Okay. You're an officer of the all, law. All I'm going to say is that if you would have given me the two minutes to tell you why I we don't have here, to give you the two minutes okay. and I don't have to tell you shit, man. Okay. I don't. 
Okay. I so, don't. So you can go. You can go put that on YouTube. I know or I can you go. I'm not going to put it on YouTube. I'm going to send so. it to your boss because you're a clown. It. Go for it. Okay. If I really, if, Norris if is I, a clown. If I really wanted to make an issue out of this, I could have. So if you want, I know, I know go you ahead would. And get in the I know car. you would. But go I'll, I'll make a bigger issue with the fucking lawyers. Trust okay, me. That's fine. That doesn't scare me, man. So you. Can Neither get in the car. do you, homie. Neither do you. Not trying hey, to. Be good, man. Learn the law, dude. And I didn't start out with the disrespect. You, you did. By asking your ID. Motherfucking right. Okay, you can leave. Motherfucking right. So after harassing these guys, come to find out, he did not have a call. He's in the wrong place. So he's forced the passenger to ID, threatened to arrest the driver, attempted to get him trespassed from a gas station, all just to find out he's in the wrong place. How often have we seen police officers show up to the wrong home, open fire, arrest the wrong person? I don't know. When I was working as a cop, we had the address and we had uh, a GPS if you didn't know where you're going. I don't know how police officers, as I'm looking at these videos, continue to show up to the wrong place, continue to arrest the wrong people and oftentimes hurt or even kill people unlawfully um but this is becoming the norm you would think the more technology we get as the days go on the less this will happen but it's backwards it's happening more make sure you guys know your rights and always record the police this is what we're living with this is what we're dealing with, with that being said we the people university signing off Welcome to The Goat Debate, the premier online sports debate show where engaging discussions and thrilling debates unfold as we determine who is the greatest of all time in every sport. I am your host, Abaya Israel, joined by my two co-hosts, Coach Scott and Coach J.O. Tune into our YouTube and Facebook channels to catch our reactions and coverage of the biggest games and the latest news. Don't miss out on your chance to participate in the action. Join us every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for The Goat Debate, where you, the viewer, can call in and share your thoughts on who deserves the title of the GOAT. Be sure to mark your calendars. Every Monday, we upload 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, and we go live every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to subscribe, call in, and participate. Come and be a part of the conversation.